Okay, here with Chris uh, Senac Jr. Um, talk about your impressions of uh, this uh, camp so far here at USA Basketball. Oh, uh, I mean, it's different. I'm one of the older guys now, so it feels weird. So, but I'm just taking that role, being a leader, showing the young guys like what to do. So I've been here like four or five times, so it's good. Just getting better, playing with other top guys, just learning every time I come here. So. Yeah, are there some guys that you haven't really uh, played against or played with before? Uh, nah, I played against everybody here for real. Okay. Yeah. So. so what's your mindset kind of coming into something like this? Well, uh, just to get better, uh, get better, learn from the coaches. You know, I made the team, so uh, made U17, so just getting better and learning. Like, I'm always trying to learn, always trying to improve, so that's the main thing. You know, it's been uh, quite a while, like, since we connected with you at yeah. uh, like, over a year or so. How do you feel like your game has grown in the past, like, four months? Man, a lot, really. Uh, all around, just my versatility, uh, my IQ, just being a better leader on and off the court. Uh, what else? I'll say everything, like everything is just improved times two every year for me. So, and that's the goal, just improving times two every year. For sure. Um, when you talk about leadership, like what's your leadership style, you know? Are uh, you like more vocal and stuff? Yeah, like, being more vocal, like at Link right now, being that, that guy that's leading the team, kind of like putting everyone in good situations, being that guy that everyone looks up to. Uh, so that's pretty much like what, I, what I'm doing at Link. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's really about it. Just being vocal, uh, letting, letting my presence be known when I'm on the court, yeah. Love that. Um, you know, what kind of led to the decision to transfer the Link? Just to get ready for like the next level, like, like prep school, Link, it'll get you ready for college. So, and, and just playing with other top guys, you know, winning, trying to go get a national championship. Uh, what else? And being able to get better, like, that's a school where we're in the gym two, three, four times a day, so you're just getting better. Have you always kind of like embraced uh, competition? Yeah, I mean, I'm always looking for competition because that's the only way I'm gonna get better, playing guys that's better than me, playing guys that's on the same level as me, so just, that's about it for real. Yeah. Um, you know, what are some of your goals uh, this season at Link, like personal goals? Personal goals? Uh, I don't know personal goals, but the main goal for me is winning the national championship with those guys. That's all we talk about all year, winning the national championship. So that's the that's the main goal we're all looking at. We're all pushing each other in practice, trying to get better so we can get that goal. For sure. Um, you know, getting into your recruitment a little bit. I know you dropped your top seven yeah. and stuff. Just what's the latest in terms of like any visits and any timelines, stuff like that? Uh, I'm not sure. I know I have to schedule my Arkansas and uh, Baylor visit coming up. I know I have to schedule those, but I do have LSU coming up on November 9th. So yeah, that's that's it on the on the visits. Yeah. What's kind of been like coaches like most like consistent pitch to you and stuff like that? Uh, just playing all over the court, kind of positionless. You know, kind of being a guy that can play all positions, guard all positions. So where it's like, if you have mismatches on me, I go dominate mismatches, you know? You know, ideally, like, what do you want out of, like, a school of, uh, school of choice, you know? Development. A school, like, the plan is being one and done. So a school that's going to develop me and get me ready for the NBA. So I'm not going in there, you know, unprepared, you know? Um, you know what do you feel like is maybe, like, some of the best advice you've received uh, throughout your life? Uh, the best advice I would say is playing with your team. Cause at the at the NBA college, you're not always going to be the main guy. So being a team player, being a leader, learning, always wanted to learn, getting smarter at the game. So, so you know, were you kind of the focal point of the offense growing up, and then yeah. you know, kind of like how have you adjusted to playing with like other talented players? Just. I don't know, being being dominant, but at the same time being a playmaker, you know? Getting other guys open, setting hard screens, things like that. So just being a team player, a player that your teammates like playing with. Sure. A few more questions, but 
get to know you off the court, like outside of basketball, any hobbies or interests in there? Uh, probably like sleep or play video games. <laughs> yeah, like right. my free time, I'm getting sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, why is sleep uh, important to you? Just feel rehydrated, you know. Uh, like at Link, our schedule is busy, so whenever you get a chance to go to sleep, I would take that chance, you know. Yeah, for sure. What, uh, what games you playing? Uh, 2K and college football. Okay. Yeah. And how are you stacking up against your teammates tonight? Nah, we play 2K a lot against each other. So, I'm probably like the best one. You're the best one? Yeah, but that's that's about it. We play against each other in our free time. Um, you know, when it comes to like expectations and pressure and stuff yeah. like that, I know that comes with being like a highly ranked player. How do you kind of cope with some of that stuff? Uh, I mean, I just say focus on the main thing because my goal is to be in the NBA and make a big name for myself. So. At the end of the day, the rankings right now really don't matter that much. So uh, I just say focus on the main thing and getting better. Um, if you had a hashtag to describe yourself, like what would that hashtag be one? Uh, hashtag versatile. Versatile player. Guard many positions and uh, could play against many positions. And we'll wrap it up with this, but you know, when you're done playing basketball and stuff, and in the distant uh, future, like what do you hope to be remembered for? Remember for uh, a legend, like being one of the one of the best. Yeah. Awesome, thank you for the time, man. Appreciate it.